Yeah, and, and you're right. When you talk about it that way, you come into court now, you've been caught, and you have the mayor culpa. But back then, when you were getting away with it, it wasn't any problem at all. So it's clear that Judge Clifton Newman might have seen it that way. That's absolutely sure. But again, when you look at crimes like this, you know, these are financial crimes. But I think what makes these different is the fiduciary relationship. Yes. And as you said, as an attorney, I think that's what takes this to another level. Yeah, I know attorneys who have stolen from clients, and we found out about it because the attorney himself brought it to light, reported himself, mm -hmm. reported to his clients, gave the money back, and handed in his license. In those cases, I didn't even see those attorneys get charged with, with crimes, right? They were disbarred. In this case, he was got, he, it was exposed because of his, his co-conspirator did the most heinous thing, murdered his family. Yeah. And this guy never reported. So I think it's too, too little too late in the judge's mind. Yeah.